we'll be talking about our local future, preparing for local self-sufficiency and resilience. So local future and myself and many people have two challenges in the future. One challenge, which I think is kind of a, a cultural challenge, is to stop and reverse our undesirable impacts on the earth. And another goal is to eliminate our reliance on an unsustainable global economic system. Our culture has lots of undesirable impacts on land, the oceans, the atmosphere. The one that's getting the most press nowadays is our impact on the atmosphere. Here's a chart that simply shows how much carbon dioxide is in the atmosphere. It goes back to 1960 up to the present day, and it shows how the amount has increased over the years. This is my favorite graph just to show um, the change that's happened. If you notice, there's a, the red there, that, that's the actual amount of carbon dioxide. Um, it goes up and down during the year because the northern hemisphere has a lot more green stuff. And so during the summer right now, it absorbs a lot of carbon dioxide. But then during the, the winter time, the southern he hemisphere doesn't have as much green stuff. And so the level kind of goes up. The trend has been going up for a long time. The idea behind the, the greenhouse effect is pretty straightforward. The sun sends the sunlight onto the earth. Some of it's reflected directly back in outer space. Some of it's absorbed by the surface of the earth. And then that heat from the earth radiates back outwards into space. Um, but on its way out, it'll hit these greenhouse gas molecules like carbon dioxide or methane. And those molecules grab that heat energy and they let it go again. And when they let it go, it might go spinning out into space or it might go spinning back to the earth and it continues to warm the earth. If we didn't have these greenhouse gases, then nighttime temperatures would be extremely cold every single night. So it's very important that we have those gases. But it's also important that the amount of those gases in the atmosphere remain level. And of course, we're adding to those gases. And this chart shows how compared to the era from the 40s to the 80s, the recent decade, we've been able to measure lots of warming all over the Earth. It's not even warming, and it doesn't mean that one winter isn't colder than the next winter, but the overall trend is that there's a lot of areas that are getting warmer. There are a few areas that are getting cooler, but the overall pattern is that things are getting warmer. So that's all I'm going to say about environment and how we impact the environment. We know that we want to change our behavior towards the planet. We know we want to have the planet around for our kids and our grandkids, and we want to leave a beautiful, rich place for them. 